Salut tout le monde, my name is Christine and I'm coming to you from Paris, France where I live and work. I will be bringing you yoga tutorials every Friday morning Paris time starting from midnight. And you can also afterwards go to my blog on yogaflowerparis.com to get a little bit more information on what you've just seen. It might be helpful, maybe not. I'm sure it will be though. So I'll see you there. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by again. Today we're going to be visiting a pose called the easy pose, which is not so easy. Usually in yoga when they say easy, it's not really easy. The easy poses are the hardest actually. It's also called the pose of happiness and in, in, in Sanskrit it's called Sukhasana. It's a hip opener and this is the pose for meditative purposes. This is actually the pose that we use after we've done all the asana work in yoga in order to be comfortable. But in order to be comfortable in this posture, you have to go through the asanas to get the stamina, the endurance, the strength, the flexibility. And this is all to, in fact, come to this pose and be comfortable in a meditative state. So what it is, it's just a cross-legged pose. It's very, very simple in theory. And what it does is it stretches the spinal cord and the knees and the ankles and it strengthens the back. And it also encourages grounding. And the therapeutic benefits of it is that it eliminates stress and, and anxiety and mental fatigue. It, it encourages calm and happiness. But it's not to be done if you have chronic pain or inflammation or a recent hip or knee surgery or injury or discal hernia. So what we're going to do, and this is very important, we're just going to take a measure on the floor like this, okay? And because in the Western world, we start sitting on chairs at the, about the age of four and our school teachers tell us to stay in the chair and not, don't sit on the ground, we start losing the flexibility in our hips and the hip flexors start getting shorter and up and up and up. And so a lot of people, when they try and find this posture, their knees are almost into their bra line. And if you insist on trying to do this posture with the knees up like that, the hip flexors are never going to settle and relax. So this is where the blankets come in. You can also do this with a bolster or a brick, but blankets are a little bit more comfortable. And I'm gonna start with two today. You can, it might be three, it might be four for you. But what you need to measure is the knees have to be lower or just as low as the hip flexors. Okay, so I'm there, I think. Pretty sure I'm there. And at this point, you're just going to relax your hip flexors, your, your front groins into the mat, the buttocks into the mat as well, the hips into the mat. And you're going to cross the tibias in the very middle. And I tell my students, um, because a lot of times it's like, ow, that doesn't really feel good. It's not supposed to feel good at the beginning. It will feel good towards it, little by little. But it's really, really right in the middle. And you're going to try and get your, your heels and your feet right under your knees. Okay? It's a little bit tedious to find at the beginning. But this is it. Okay. Now, we're going to lean over one way. We're going to bring the flesh outside to the sides and lean over the other way and the flesh of the other butt buttocks to the other side. And if that's not um, good enough for you, then what you can do is you can put your fingers in little, little cups and lift the pelvis up and scooch the sitting bones right to the edge of the blankets, okay? And then you can really feel that you're sitting on your sitting bones. Okay, now, we're going to roll the shoulders back. We're going to extend the two sides of the waist. We're going to extend the vertebral column. And we're going to let the collarbones go to both sides of the room. Okay, bring the elbows back as far as possible. Keep the stomach soft. Keep the throat and the face soft. 
and just close, close your eyes. Okay, and just imagine that up on the roof you've got your own personal elf that's pulling you from your coccyx all the way up your spinal column through the crown of the head with a golden thread. So try and align the back of the head to the coccyx. And you can kind of feel in this posture, because we're very quiet now, you can kind of feel what your tendency is. Is it to pull this, the, the floating ribs out like this and have a little bit of a back bend in the spinal column? Or are you a little bit more hunched over like this? So just, again, take time to extend the spine and find the justification. And let the heels melt into the mat, the knees try to go down, the thighs melt into the mat, the sitting bones into the mat. And when all that's in place, just place your hands, the back of your hands, on your thighs. Relax the front groin, groins. Again, elongate both sides of the waist. Elongate the spinal column. Widen the collarbones. And breathe, keeping the stomach very, very, very soft. We're just going to hang out here for a minute. And this already is just is, is like a mini meditation, just trying to put all those things in place, not thinking of anything else but just that. Lengthening the spinal column, lengthening the sides of the waist, relaxing the stomach. And at one point, if you want to, you can pull your palms together and place the root of the thumb right at the bottom of the sternum. Both hands are pressed equally against each other. Find the harmony in all the little fingers and all the digits. Again, relax the stomach. Keep ascending towards the roof, towards your personal elf. And just listen to your breathing. Observe your breathing. Observe your stillness. And when you're ready to come out, bow your head toward your heart center. On the exhale. And gently place the backs of the hands back onto the thighs. And very, very gently, with a, with a gaze behind the eyelids that is really, really, really far away, bring your gaze up towards the center of the room very slowly. Be kind to yourself. And there you have it, Sukhasana. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good time. Take care of each other. Namaste.
thank you for coming back and watching and sharing my stuff with me. It was good to see you again. If you liked what you saw, please share and give me a comment and maybe a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram and on Facebook and on Twitter. I'm all over the place. And until next time, take care of each other. Namaste.